All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the garage. Thank you for tuning back in. Today we got a fun arts and crafts project. We're going to paint a boat and we're going to paint a boat a little different than uh, what you would usually think. You know, usually we're going to do a lot of uh, taping and measuring to make sure it's all symmetrical and stuff like that. Today we're not going to do any of that. Today it's going to be super fun, super simple and super easy and it's going to make your boat look badass, guaranteed. So check this out. I double sided the, ha the hatch down, double sided tape the hatch down to the boat. I put a piece of double sided tape here on the transom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a nice clean spot here. And we are gonna put it right there and hopefully it stands up straight. Nope. Boom. All right. I like to lay my cans out just like this with the color of the cap right in front of the can that I'm about to use. All right. So this is how we're going to do it. I got these all shaken up already and I got the boat right up there ready to go standing up on the transom and what we're going to do is we're going to start hitting it with some paint all right, all right everybody here we go we're going to start off with some hot pink and we're just gonna i'm actually going to do it this way so i'm going to start going like this and then i'm going to go to my next color and start doing this and i'm going to go on both sides so let's get to it Sorry guys, got to walk around this a little bit. Kind of just want to get it nice and even. Well, not even, but thick, you know. Put your paint back there. And I'm going to go with a little bit of orange. No. But I guarantee you, when it's done, it's gonna look badass. All right, we're gonna let this dry and we'll come back to it in a little bit. All right, it's the next morning. We're back here in the garage and the hydroplane is nice and dry. And we are ready for our next step. And before we get to that, I am brought this little car here just to show you what like a intricate tape job looks like. You tape off every little area that ends up being a different color. And you know, you go through the multiple layers of tape until you are, uh, until you achieve what you wanted. We are not going to do it with that because we didn't tape anything except for the, the window. We're going to go along the lines of something more like this. We're going to make our boat end up looking like this, hopefully. All right, so we'll clean off the table. We'll go get our secret ingredient and we'll get to it. All right, I got the table cleaned off and we are ready for the next step. So got the flat black. I would uh, ultimately like to use like a, an ultra matte because it just dries faster, but the uh, 2X flat black is good enough, dries fairly quick. So 
We're gonna grab our secret ingredient, which is Dawn dish soap. And what we're gonna do is we're kind of just gonna go to town here with the Dawn in directions that uh, we find appealing. So basically I'm gonna take the Dawn and I'm just gonna, I guess, drizzle it back and forth and drizzle it back and forth. Now the only downside we're gonna have here is I'm gonna have to hold the boat and we're gonna have some kind of finger marks down the line because I am not a professional painter and I haven't thought of uh, what the hell I'm gonna do here. So I kinda wanna keep the boat as level as possible but I am gonna find the best place to hold it so that I can flip it. That's, there we go. I'm just gonna hold it from this back corner right here. Right over here, back of the transom. Okay. All right, here comes the fun. Wanna get the bottom first, then flip it over, get the top, and hit it with the black, and then we'll go to the next step. Shake this one last time. All right, here we go, here we go. So I like to start drizzling away from the product that I'm gonna be painting and get my splashes or drizzles or whatever you want to call them. So right now I'm just going to start from, I'm thinking over, nope, I'm thinking, yeah. So let's see here. The, the thinner, the thinner the bead of soap, the thinner the masking that it's going to create on your product. So there we go. There. Just like that. Oh, we got some globs there. Didn't really like that too much, but here we go, here we go. Flip it so you're gonna see my finger marks unfortunately but all right now here's the fun part we're gonna take this and we're gonna wash it off wash off all that soap try not to touch Try not to touch it with your hand and let the water just do its thing. All right, everybody. Just laid down the first coat of clear coat. And I wanted to talk real quick about the clear coat. This is basically leading up to the final steps here. So excuse the lighting. I just had two fluorescent bulbs burn out in the garage. Left me with this janky ass light, which is even more horrible. So we're sticking with this. We're not painting outside because the dust will stick to the clear coat and then end up giving craters when we sand it down. Now, clear coat. You can use a flat lay it down with a flat and for the most part it'll be sealed the way it is i chose to go with a gloss because i wanted just a little more pop when it's done but the negative to the gloss is that it's a little more finicky to paint one it likes to run a lot easier uh which painting vertically is not really the best but i'm trying to get kind of both sides at the same time and I'm not hanging it. So, I mean, I'm not laying it down because I wanted to get the bottom clear coated as well. Anyways, with the gloss, it's gonna leave orange peel at the end of it. 
And what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to take those extra few steps and go with the wet sanding and then hit it with a polish and a finish. And then you'll have a nice pop to it. I hit it with uh, a couple coats right now of this gloss clear coat. I'm going to hit the back one more time. And when you guys, when you're using the clear coats or when you're painting, try to start from before the piece to after the piece. And then, or if you're going this way, you know, start here and then finish here. Start there and finish there. That's how you'll get a nice, even coat. So we'll let this guy dry. Just hit it with two coats. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to hit it again uh, for a few more minutes. It needs to get a little tacky and then hit it again. And then we will see what it looks like. All right. So there she is, all done, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you like this boat, thanks for tuning in, until next time.